Hello everyone, it's Stinger Splash, and I'm back with another unboxing, <laughs> another mystery box unboxing. Um, I think it's the, the fourth of the week, and there'll be a fifth. And this is the Geek Gasm box, and uh, this is my first Geek Gasm. It might be my last because no matter what's inside, it's a very expensive box. Uh, unlike other companies, uh, Geek Gasm give you an option of three different boxes. Uh, it's a non-recurring subscription, so you have to you know sign up every month if you want it. And there's three choices: there's bronze, silver, and gold. Uh, the bronze box is nineteen pounds plus three pound postage. That's twenty-two quid, uh, and you get no less than five items, at least five, maybe more. Uh, or you can go the silver package, which is twenty-five pounds plus uh, three pound postage, so twenty-eight pounds, but you get six items. And the gold, which is what I bought, is a whopping £35 and £4 postage, because it's a heavier box, so it goes by the by Hermes, um, so it costs an extra pound for the postage, but it's, it's £39, which is about two usual boxes. So this really has to be packed with a lot of good stuff in it um, to be worth it. Now, I've only ever seen two gold unboxings on YouTube, and they were both very good. Whether or not, you know, whether or not I get the same contents, we'll have to see. Um, it's a pretty decent sized box, um, it actually came in a gold bag, um, it wasn't until I opened the gold bag that I realised it was a Geekgasm box, I thought it might have been uh, stuff from other companies, um, so yeah, this is just how they do it, this is the, uh, just a simple label on the front, um, I do prefer this, although it's nice to have something like my Geek box, they put a box within a box, not so good um, environmentally wise, but at least Lucrate, they, they make their own boxes, but then that's the only box you get. Um, so enough waffling on, basically it's now 1 o'clock, I got this this morning at 10, and I went to do the video um, at 11, so I went back to bed, um, waited till the postman had come, and then um, I uh, went to make the video and my battery was dead at about 20 past 11, I put it on charge, it took an hour and a half, which is a lot less time than I thought it was, but I was like, oh, if this takes all day, I'm going to be waiting until like 4 o'clock, I, I thought I was going to be waiting until 4 o'clock to do this video, but uh, no, so it's one o'clock, so I'm going to go and get my dinner in a minute, but firstly I'm going to open up this box, so yeah, because it's, it comes in a bag, there's not a lot of tape on it, there's just one tiny little bit of tape at the bottom, as you can see here, so this shouldn't take very long to get into, so uh, just get this up, um, it's it's a pretty decent sized box, it's about the same size as the, the bit block box, um, and uh, there is enough space, possibly for. Let's down a second. There is enough space for a um, a pop vinyl, just about, just about. So, yeah, this is uh, well, this is this is going to be big because uh, I've never spent this much on a box before. So it really has to completely wow me. Um, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. As I say, I was, kind of, I was hoping for maybe a slightly bigger box, but if they pack in some good small content, then that's all that matters. Okay, the first thing I, I, I have seen this in other videos, you get some lovely orange paper so you can't see what's in there. That's what's first. This feels like a book. What is it? It is a book. Okay, it's uh, Aliens, sorry, Alien versus Predator. Civilized Beasts. So is this going to be a graphic novel? It is. That's nice. Nice little graphic novel book. Um, one thing I will say as well uh, with Geek Gasm, I'm, I'm pretty sure all of these are going to be 100% um, mer like official merchandise for the money. It really has to be. So yeah, nice little book there. Um, it says seven dollars on the back. So yeah, it's what about four quid? So nice little start. Nice to be a hell of a lot more though for £39, <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, what's next? Hmm, this seems interesting, what's it? Okay, it's a, um, it's a Star Wars, oh, it's got a crease in the back, that's unfortunate. It's a Star Wars notepad, I think, but it's got a lovely lenticular cover of the uh, Stormtroopers. Um, so let's see, let me just check. It might actually be a diary or something, but it's, I hope it's not, because I'd rather just have a notepad. To write, write down my thoughts, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's just plain paper, it looks like. 
Uh, I would rather have lines because <laughs> my, my right will go all over the place, but still very nice. Really love the cover on that. Very cool. Good start. There has to be some higher value items though. Got to be. Okay, what's next? This is a small thing. Okay, it's uh, an official from Pyramid Star Wars collectible wristband. I know a lot of uh, these wristbands are quite cool and popular these days. I've never really been into them, but I'll wear that. What's next? I'm trying to get, some, I'm trying to get a little item so I can save the best for last, but I don't know what's next. Okay, well, I've seen this before. A similar thing was in another uh, box that they did, but it was Star Wars Millennium Falcon. But this is uh, a silicone ice cream. It looks like it's a. Yes, it's from uh, Kotobuyika. It's an Asian import. Um, yeah, so it's an ice tray, and you can make your own alien uh, ice, which is really awesome. So I'll be trying that out later on. And as you can see, it's got all the Japanese right on the back. So it's, uh, yeah, it's from Kotobuyika, who do uh, statues. So good official merchandise there. Good start. Let's see what else is in here. I feel there's going to be a lot of stuff in this box, which is good because it has to be. Uh, we have a Star Wars badge pack. There's a, a larger badge there in the front uh, in the middle, and then there's some smaller badges. And there's the Disney sign. That's it. Now it's a uh, it's a Disney company, but yeah, again from Pyramid. So yeah, some Star Wars Rebels badges. So stuff like this. Three Star Wars items. Um, and two alien items. So this, if I get a Star Wars or an, or an alien pop vinyl in here, then that'd be something. What's next? Ah, cool. Another key ring. Never have too many key rings. Another pyramid item. But it's Boba Fett. So Boba Fett. I'll say Boba Fett. But anyway, what's next? This is a long item. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's an alien chest burster. Again, this is from Kotobuyika. Uh, is that a sweet? It sounds like I can eat. It's a, it's a chest burster. It says alien chopsticks. Is it actually chopsticks? Oh, yeah. Alien chopsticks. Okay, choking has it. So yeah, I thought it was sweet at first. I thought it was a big long sweet, but no. Okay, so they're they're they are chopsticks, which I've never really used, but they're they're chest burster chopsticks. That's something unique. So uh, yeah, we're up to uh, one, two, three, four, seven items. Uh, three alien, four Star Wars based. There's got to be a lot more in here. Please be a lot more in here. What's next? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to have it for a snack because I'm a bit hungry. It's some Space Raiders. I'm not only ten pence, but you know, a bit of fun. That's okay. As long as it doesn't count towards the eight. And I don't think it does because there's plenty left in here, I think. What's next? There's a big thing. Oh, ho, ho, okay. It's a Predator. Classic Predator. From, from the movie Predators, I think. I don't really collect these sort of figures, but... Oh, and actually, look at that. That's, that's disappointing. Come away at the bottom. It's come away at the bottom, so it's not mock, unfortunately. That's, that's a shame. So there's three figures. Uh, I know this is sacrilege, but I'm probably just going to actually open this. I never open figures, but I'm probably going to have to open this because it's, it's, it's damaged from the bottom. Um, and just display it because it's a pretty badass cool figure. It's a big figure. So, yeah. Please tell me there's something else in this box because I'm kind of. There's no t shirt so far. Is that a light? Oh. No, there's two more items. First up, there is a. Oh, balls to cancer wristband, you know, charity wristband. There's actually a leaf in here. So, how to check for t testicular cancer, so, which is, you know, a good cause and everything. And the last thing is a Halo avatar figure. So, I'll check this out. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed, I think. I'm gonna have to. There's no t-shirt and there's no pop vinyl. I was kind of hoping for at least one or other. Uh, especially for 39 quid. And especially when the figure is damaged. Maybe I can have a word with them. Maybe they can fix the figure. Let's see. So this is the... What is this? Okay. So this is the figure. It's a Halo figure that you 
makeup, it's called an avatar, I think. It's just a little thing that you make up. Um, one of eight in there. But again, it's, every, everything in it is official merchandise, but yeah, it's. Uh, I've never seen these before. I, I, I won't be collecting them. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not into Halo at all. I, I tried to play Halo Three, and I didn't get into it. Um, I didn't mind Halo on the Xbox, but when I tried to play Halo Three. I just didn't get into it much. I don't like online multiplayer anyway. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so there's the Halo little avatar figure thing, just tiny. Uh, there's the charity wristband, which I'm guessing is a freebie. It's the awesome figure, but unfortunately it's got a damaged uh, packaging. Uh, the three pack of crisps badge pack cool key ring wristband the ice tray the notepad the book and the uh, alien chest poster chopsticks uh, so there is actually 11 items so yeah there's a lot of items um, whether or not it's worth £39 or not, I just, I don't know. Um, I'm running out of time, but I'm going to do a, a quick think up. So let's say four quid for this little book. Um, notepad, let's say the same, eight. Uh, the wristband, about four as well, that's 12. The badges, say three quid, that's 15. Uh, Keyring, 18. The figure is, it's a big figure, it's probably worth at least 12, that's about 30 quid. Um, the ice tray and the chest burster, I mean they are imports so who knows. Maybe it's maybe it's 40 quid, I mean the crisps are nothing. Uh, these charity bands, I mean they, I know they cost quite a bit but I, I don't really know what price it will be on that. And there's the little halo figure, I, I have no idea how much they are, maybe a couple of quid. To be honest, I've probably, probably paid what they're worth, so I won't be bothering with a, a Geek Gazin box again. I'm very disappointed. It's a good box, and if it had been £29, I'd be over the moon, but uh, there's no t-shirt, and there's no pop vinyl, and the, the, unfortunately the uh, the Predator is, uh, it's, it's damaged. So, I might have a word with them and say, listen, you know, the, the toy's damaged, and... I know they don't guarantee a t-shirt, but I've seen other boxes that seem better, so a little disappointed, so I won't be bothering with them again. I'm, I'm not completely disappointed, it's not like I've been completely ripped off, but I've not gotten like what I was hoping, like, 60, 70 pounds of the stuff. Um, and maybe I have, maybe this is like really expensive, I don't know, but it's damaged anyway, so it's worthless to me. That'll do, I'm out of time, but thanks again for watching, I'll be back tomorrow hopefully with my Infinity Crate box, which will have a pop vinyl, and hopefully a t-shirt. So until then, thanks again for watching, I'll see you again soon, take care, bye for now.